Now that we talked about the AFC picture, what's going to happen in the NFC? And what's my prediction as far as who's going to make it to the Super Bowl? Welcome to Believer's Talk. My name is Joe, and in this episode, we are going to break down the NFC playoff picture as we get ready for the NFL playoffs. We're very excited. Again, if you haven't already, if you follow me on Twitter, the description's below, well, the link's in the description below. Follow me. Vote on which game you want me to do a live stream, play-by-play, -play, and reaction for. Always enjoy doing it. Normally, of course, we do Bills live streams, but Bills didn't make the playoffs this year, so... We will live stream a game of your choice. I have the voting up there. Go on to the Twitter page, vote. But again, thank you guys for joining me. My name is Joe. Welcome to Believer's Talk. In this episode, we are going to break down the NFC side of the playoffs, go over the seeding, who plays who, and then my prediction for who is going to be in the Super Bowl. And then, if you watch the AFC episode we did, you'll know who I have in the Super Bowl. We'll go over who I think is going to win the Super Bowl this season. So... Without any further ado, let's go over the first six seeds for the NFC side of the playoffs. Number one, the number one seed was decided a little bit ago. We have the New Orleans Saints at the number one seed. That's going to be tough for any other NFC team because Sean Payton, Drew Brees, put them together. They haven't lost at home in the playoffs. They're the one seed. They're staying home. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Number two seed is your L.A. Rams. The Rams having a good season with Goff leading the helm, of course. Um, looking pretty good. Sean McVay, of course, a great offensive mind. Uh, we'll see how they do as they continue to improve, continue to impress. Uh, but that defense not nearly as good as some thought it would be at the beginning of the season with all the free agent signings. Thought we'd have a better mix there of, of talent. And on that defensive side of the ball just hasn't met expectations injury has to do with that of course partly as well so going to the three seed we got the bears chicago bears are the number three seed overall uh, again you look at that defense just a great defense getting mac before the season started obviously has paid off huge dividends is it worth two first round picks still not sure i think maybe it is if that means winning in the playoffs that's what matters making the playoffs Winning the Super Bowl. If that happens while Cleo Mack is in Chicago, it was definitely worth it. But will that mean success this season? I'll tell you in a second. The fourth seed is going to be your Dallas Cowboys, winners of the NFC East. Dallas Cowboys, of course, Dak Prescott. You have Ezekiel Elliott. You have the offensive line. Run, run, run. Let your offense control the ball and then let your defense do a little bit of work. Van Der Esch, one of the best rookies this season, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Very impressive, uh, so we'll see how they do. You talk about the number five seed, you talk about the Seattle Seahawks, Russell Wilson, everyone down on them this year. This might be the surprise team of the playoffs. You know, everyone's talking about on the AFC side how Frank Gregg should be coach of the year. Hold on a second, because Pete Carroll was definitely being dogged at the beginning of the season. He now has this team in the playoffs as the five seed. Then you talk about the six seed, you talk about the super defending Super Bowl champions getting in the last week of the season, needing Minnesota to Toulouse and for the Eagles to win. That's exactly what happens. Eagles in the playoffs. What can they do after a Super Bowl run last year from that one seed? What will they do this year? Nick Foles got a little banged up. A little banged up. Will that affect their run this year? So, what does that mean for Wild Card Weekend? That means your 3 for 6 matchup is the Chicago Bears versus the defending Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles. And then your 4 for 5 matchup, you got the Dallas Cowboys. How about them Cowboys versus the Seattle Seahawks. So Seattle going to Dallas, Philly going to Chicago. So that's your matchups. I'm going to start with the matchup that I think is, is more intriguing. Uh, and that's, of course, the super, defending Super Bowl champions, the Philadelphia Eagles, going up against the Bears. So if you like the Bears, 
there's a lot of things to like about the Bears. This defense can get after you, uh, force mistakes. But on the other side of the ball, you know, Trubisky just really still has not impressed me. I'm still not sold on Trubisky. So if the Eagles defense can get pressure on Trubisky, maybe he'll make a couple mistakes. You know, again, this is his first time in the playoffs. How will he step up to the pressure? Not sure about that. I, I believe Nick Foles is going to play in this game. His injury wasn't that significant where he's going to miss any amount of time. As long as Nick Foles plays in this game, I actually have the Eagles going into Chicago and upsetting the Bears. Um, that will probably be my upset of the playoffs, the six-seed Eagles. Uh, getting on that last day, they already have that playoff mentality. They know what it's like in this in this scenario. They are going to beat the Chicago Bears in Chicago. So then, going on to your four first five, you have Seattle going to Dallas, into Jerry's world, to play the Dallas Cowboys. Some would still say America's team. I am not one of those some, so don't worry about that. But... I think this is going to be a very interesting matchup as far as who controls the ball, who does a better job on defense, uh, maybe force a turnover or two. Both these teams, um, I, don't think, I don't think many people expected either of these teams to be in the playoffs. So it's going to be an interesting matchup to me. I, I, I honestly don't know which way to go in this matchup. But again, normally when I'm, I'm unsure which way to go, and I can see it going either way. Uh, but normally when that is the case, I'll go with the home team. And in this case, that's those Dallas Cowboys. So I'll go with the Cowboys to beat the Seahawks. And what's probably going to be a good game, it's probably going to be maybe even the closest game uh, of the playoffs uh, the whole season. Because it's, it, these two teams seem evenly matched to me. And I think it's going to be a good game. So I look forward to it. But that's going to be my outcome. Dallas over Seattle. Philadelphia with the upset as a sixth seed going into Chicago beating the Bears. That means for the division around playoffs, you have the Saints versus the Eagles in New Orleans. And then you also have the uh, Dallas Cowboys going to the LA Rams. Again, I, I see the, the NFC is a little more black and white than I did the AFC. I think the AFC can be very confusing uh, and it could go a multitude of different ways. Um, I think the top four seeds, maybe in that fifth seed and that sixth seed, uh, I think all six seeds probably have a chance to make it to the Super Bowl from the AFC side. Talking about the Baltimore Ravens having the number one overall defense, they're the six seeds. So you never know what's going to happen. Uh, the Chargers are the five seed. They had the second best record in the AFC, tied with the Chiefs, uh, but she said tiebreaker. So anything can happen on the AFC side. I think the two best teams are at the top of the NFC. You talk about New Orleans, talk about LA Rams. I see them both come away victorious in the division round. I see New Orleans beating. The defending Super Bowl champ Philadelphia Eagles and then I see the LA Rams beating the Dallas Cowboys as well putting us with a one versus two matchup in the championship you got the New Orleans Saints versus the LA Rams Drew Brees Jared Goff it's gonna be a great matchup I look forward to seeing that matchup however what I said at the beginning of this video still holds true you put Sean Payton and Drew Brees together they don't lose at home in the playoffs, and that's the case in this scenario as well. New Orleans is a tough place to play. You're talking about the NFC Championship game. New Orleans was that close, that close last season. It took a Minnesota miracle for them to lose last year, and that was on the road. So this season, I think they have that home field edge. They have a little bit of bitter feelings about what happened last year uh, with that Minnesota miracle. So this year, they're going to go beat the Rams and move on to the Super Bowl. And if you watch the AFC prediction... You know that that means I have the Saints versus the Chargers. Philip Rivers versus Drew Brees. It's going to be a lot of fun. If that's the matchup, I think no one would be disappointed with that. Uh, the Rams, of course, or the Chargers, I mean, from L.A. You could potentially have an L.A. versus L.A. matchup here. Uh, the NFL went like that. I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, you, have the, you have the Saints, again, a little bit bitter from last season. And you have the uh, Chargers, who the second best record in the AFC, just unfortunately they play in the same division as the, as the Chiefs, who have the first. So going to be a very interesting matchup. You know, this is Philip Rivers. This would be his first Super Bowl appearance of his career. So that would be uh, good for him. And, you know, everyone will talk about that. Uh, but I would uh, look forward to this game. I think it would be an offensive explosion. Talking about this game, the Saints versus the Chargers. Both teams have great offenses. I think the Saints have a little bit better of a running game with Kamara. 
back there than um, than the Chargers do with Gordon. I, you know, that, and, and that's even a toss up there. Talk about the defensive side of the ball. The Saints, I believe, have a little bit better of a defense than the Chargers. So I think those will be the things coming to fit play. You talk about Breeze versus uh, Breeze versus uh, Rivers. You know, wh which way do you go there? That's that's a toss up. Both players. Hall of Famers, in my opinion. So it's tough to go against one or the other in that matchup. I think it would be a great Super Bowl watch. I would favor the Saints just, just a tiny bit, but I'd enjoy watching. It would be a lot of fun to watch that game. We'll see what happens. But that is my NFC prediction. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if you agree with my prediction, disagree. I know Josh from Sports Free will be upset that I have his Bears losing in the first round to the Eagles. But, again, playoff experience matters. Trubisky doesn't have any. And those Eagles know what it's like to, to start that grind of the playoff season. So, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. I picked Minnesota to be the NFC representative at the beginning of the year. So, obviously, I, I'm not right all the time. Um, but we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But, again, thank you for joining me on Believers Talk. My name is Joe. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, obviously, we normally talk about Buffalo Bills. I will keep you posted on all Bills news throughout the off season. I'll get you updated on draft uh, information, some draft prospects. So, so, those free agent prospects that the Bills should be going after and any other Bills news. Maybe we'll maybe we'll find out what happens to McCoy with his off-field issues. Hopefully Zay Jones doesn't have any more of his off-field issues. But I will keep you updated. So hit that subscribe button, guys. I will keep you updated during the NFL postseason too. I will be going live for a game of your cho choosing. Again, if you follow me on Twitter, link below in the description. If you follow me, I have a vote, uh, vote going on right now. I'll have the same thing going on next week. You guys vote. Tell me which game you want me to do live reaction and play by play to, and I'll be sure to do that right here on Believers Talk. So thank you for joining me again. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell as we do go live from time to time, not just for the games. And also, like this video. Let your friends know I'm here and that uh, that we have a good time here. But anyway, thank you for joining me on Believers Talk again. Hope to see you soon. But till then, go Bills.